Hey guys, Mike Scan here, Senior Pastor of Epic Life Church in Terrell, Texas, and this is Three Minute Thursdays, where we take three minutes and unpack a subject or an idea from the Bible. But before we get started today, don't forget to like this video, give us a thumbs up, share it, and click the bell icon down below so that you can be notified every time we come out with a brand new video. Now, today's three minutes is gonna be three minutes on grace. Grace, what is grace? There's so much confusion when it comes to it. But today in our three minutes, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but only tell you the simplest form of understanding what grace was and grace is. Grace is the access point to the Father through Jesus, through Yeshua, our Savior. If there was no grace, there is no salvation for any of us. Do you understand that? We need grace to get to our heavenly Father. Grace, uh, we look at 1 John chapter 4 and 5, chapter 3 verses 4 and 5, and what you see is a powerful scripture that says, everyone who practices sin practices lawlessness, and sin is lawlessness. That means breaking God's law. But verse 5 says, you know that He appeared, He is capitalized, so it's referring to Jesus, in order to take away sins, and in Him there is no sin. Grace is Jesus coming to the cross and paying a penalty for you and me so that we can have access again to the Father because sin separates us from our Heavenly Father. A payment was to be made, and each year, just like in the nation of uh, Israel, every year a sacrifice was made to cover the sins of Israel, but it never took away the sin. So God sends His only Son, Yeshua, Jesus the Christ, in order to pay that penalty of our sin. The Bible actually says that the ordinances that were held against us, the laws that we broke, were nailed to the cross. Isn't that amazing? That is grace. You didn't have to die for it. I didn't have to die for it. Jesus died in our place so that we can have access again to our Heavenly Father. Grace in the book in Hebrew, it's the word that we pronounce chen, and it simply means to separate from outside, or it's a picture of a fence, like a barrier to protect us. Uh, and it's also another picture of a seed, or later a fish, meaning activity or life. Um, or continue, or even an error. The word itself means beauty or loveliness, and literally in the Paleo-Hebrew, it means to separate for anything outside and protect. See, grace protects us. God's grace, His love for us, protect us there. In the English word, we're more familiar with the word um, that means unmerited favor. A lot of people use that as that. It's a very loose translation. And in the Greek, from our interpretation of the Septuagint, it means cheris, that which means to afford pleasure or delight. God wants you to be the person that He can take delight and pleasure in. And the way He does that is bringing you in to the kingdom. The idea of grace is that of doing something that we could not do ourselves. Some even teach that grace is about prosperity, and although a life filled with Hashem or our Father's grace does bring about prosperity, it's not the central theme. The central theme of grace is coming back into a relationship with our Heavenly Father because of what Jesus did on the cross. Hey, my name's Mike Scan. This has been our Three Minute Thursday. We love you. God bless you. Keep pressing in.